Kentsville, Concord without con Bloody trash like a used town pond Queer devs take the studio down Even the robot has pronouns First descendant price is free This abortion costs money Crash docs, junkie, Sony detox I've seen better coding in Roblox Microsoft lays off DEI team Suck someone off and hatch a new scheme Yasuke Grifter now in hiding Black rock assassin so exciting Australia blocks tenacious D Wish Death, oh say, can you see? Telling lies, radicalized, all the people would functionalize. Corporate betrayal, movie Chang Cho. Blink, miss them, shift the overton window. In case you're not understanding, DEI is just rebranding. Hello, beta testers. L -l 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 like and subscribe if you appreciate me not wasting the beginning of the video boring you with something that you'd want to skip. In fact, I'm learning people have the nerve to include my entire culturally poisonous intros in their videos without so much as a suggestion that people go to the source. And the reason I care enough to mention it is because YouTube's using you, scraping that data just as hard as it's fascinating to watch poor people operate on the same level of evil as. And I'm reminded that Google realized that they needed to remove that don't be evil crap from their motto. And boy, are they really showing it with what they're hiding from people when they search for something, whom they're hiring that makes their AI answer in a very biased and discriminatory kind of fashion. Speaking of things that you'd want to skip, Concord's beta occurred for people who pre-ordered and everybody who pre-ordered received one, two, three, four, five codes. So everybody who pre-ordered the game for PC received five codes to give to other people so that they could play. Uh, assuming that Concord players have friends. <laughs> Stop. Concord's PC numbers peak at 1,200 when it launched. That's how many people were playing. And remember, only people who pre-ordered and the, the five extra people, we don't have the PlayStation numbers, okay? We don't, but very, very, very close to the beta launching, they decided that, oh, anybody with PlayStation Plus can now play it. And by making sure they don't say that part too loud, they can trick the somehow optimistically interested into thinking that there, there's something here. It is, of course, from the makers of, uh, insert game people actually liked here, but what the developers are too high on their own farts to understand is you telegraph at a glance that even though you came from something people liked and have to use those names to hopefully generate interest and buzz in this thing, you are deliberately at odds with what people want and it's apparent at a glance. Splitgate will have an announcement tomorrow and generate more interest than Firewalk could ever dream of because Splitgate's devs are making a game instead of focusing on vignettes rolled out over time because my intro cinematics? Since we've had the same woke journalists who suck Concord off saying how bad the microtransactions and free-to-play games are, how grindy and... Oh, you've never played Warframe. I, okay, Jesus Christ. So fair, too. A bunch of people are making the ultimate characters for free by this point with a... A little bit of help from uh, their Glay. They get by with a little help from their infinite ammo Glay builds. Jesus. Remember on the stream I kept saying Arkham was good as it is. You know what I mean? The same combat with the maybe new skins, villains, areas, a graphic overhaul. People would play that. Nothing overcomplicated. Asians get that. They supply demand. They speak their ideas to AI, and it gets them a good deal of the way, allowing for turnaround that obliterates the productivity of whiny Western self-inserting activists who wouldn't know a good game from the hole in their ass. If Pokemon wouldn't Pokemon, Pow World would. If guys won't fall, maybe they'll stumble. 
and you like cute, flashy, jiggly waifus in Animal Crossing, Azure Promelia's got your number and you're going to be flying across that map feeling like a diehard Hufflepuff when you got into Hogwarts Legacy's room of requirement for the first time. The restrictions, limitations imposed by the West are not observed by the East, and as I've said for years, the gamers have already made their choice, and the failing game of catch-up that the Western modern audience gaming industry is catching up to now with Microsoft and they DEI motherfucking layoffs, they're going to be trying to bring a Vegas experience to your eyeballs, yes, with blackjack and hookers, that these people would need to deliver to compete but you already know woke is an infestation. They won't be delivering ever. They won't be serving anything but burnt food. And I didn't cause what's going to happen to the Western gaming industry, so I can only be honest in saying this is going to be the most entertaining it's been in a decade. I do not take joy in studios closing, regardless of how opinionated a loudmouth percentage of your staff is. I find it unfortunate that my honesty made me a target and that my warnings couldn't help people on every side that potentially were nowhere near aware enough of how bad it was. Obviously, beta testers, some people are just check the hell out of this. We've been staring at ugly long enough, and we can occasionally check back in the laugh at the latest they them freeze that woke is really pumping out of a sweet baby hole. But you know, eh. as I've said for months, Azure Promelia, Path of Exile 2, Kingmakers, GTA 6, inevitably. Crimson Desert and Doke V if they materialize. Hilarious slop that I'll dip my toes into like Marvel Rivals and Chrono Odyssey. But if First Descendant involves the way Fortnite and No Man's Sky just did with its graphical overhaul, then some of these could be, and I hate to say it this way, but I think it's the easiest way to kind of articulate it. They could be my destiny, my Genshin Impact, the way those games really have some of those players by the balls. And I think the days are coming for all of us where AI probably is just going to help a group of bastards make some based schizo game that uh, simply incorporates the mods that you see people download the most the types of things that oh they were just so juvenile and oh why would they oh these are just those cheap mods you mean the most downloaded mods some some developers just gonna incorporate that in there and people will go you know what that's like a bet that's like what I've been looking for I am suddenly, wave the wand, a whale, if your game didn't suck. But damn, been a lot of sucky games out here. Disney got hacked and uh, even more discrimination based on race is being uncovered and what we can only hope will lead to lawsuits for that bitch mouse to ice the cake of the dwindling interest in everything that it does from the golden goose marvel that it's just like <laughs> get the blood all over to the overpriced and now lackluster quality park experience that I'm sure they're whipping up for oh. Oh, you know, I, I, what I predict is Fortnite entering its wackest phase yet. The Disneyfication of Fortnite is truly going to be something marvelous to behold. I'm telling you, this is going to be a really entertaining, just what the hell is going on? And the Asian games are going to be like, you know, they, they don't care about any of this. Does Nintendo care? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right, so Fortnite could have a Mario party in it right now. It could have a Mario Kart in it right now. That rocket race crap, it, it just needed a damn power-up mode, and people, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Fall Guys, it could do that in Fortnite. Team Deathmatch, and they could license the, the greatest maps from all of first-person shooter history. But, you know, they are busy with that Disney shit. To Snoop Dogg and Metallica in their Nike Ferrari multiverse, bitch. And every movie that gonna come out. Do you remember movies? But they make so much money, I, you know. There's no competition. Why bother? Fortnite has my respect because they make tools available to people for free to create. And it's yeah, it's a great service, you know what I mean? Can't, can't you have a problem with that? But I don't go into a Barbie movie looking looking for like action, guns and tits, and I'm like, yo, where are the car chases in this damn Barbie movie? This, mo this Barbie movie needs Tom Cruise skydiving, damn it, S crawling through a grate at some point, something like that. You know, he's in the air ducts, shit like that. 
Where's the spaceships? Barbie, Barbie, this movie sucks. I saw this Barbie. Yeah, I'll play the I'll play the B roll of this Barbie game. Um, and it, at one point it looked like that one game where you know you're cooking and shit, undercooked, overcooked. The games are undercooked, Kyle. Move on. I'm actually starting to lose my point. You know, the Star Wars Doctor Who approach uh, to the the like hyper gay Disneyfication of things. Now it's truly something that I think they're gonna end up potentially paying for in court with the hack that i don't know it just feels like a passionate thing you know it doesn't just feel like a like a behind the scenes they were like give me some money and they were like no we're not gonna give you the money and they're like if you don't do it i'm going to release it it was more just like a i cursed and this, this fucking disney shouldn't you know what i mean <laughs> but that's all conjecture chinese players got genshin impacts hoyo to apologize and roll back the change that they dared to make on a character that people had previously gambled for. They are now granting a free 10 pool, 1600 Puma gems, because the players went crazy in every measure imaginable to make certain that they were going to get what they paid for. To make this abundantly clear, imagine you paid for a character that works a certain way, and then if then you can't even just buy them out, right? You gotta keep rolling for them, gamble until you get it. There's a chance, and eventually there's a pity, but you really gotta reach that pity. That's seventy pulls. Oh man, that's a lot of money. And then they changed that character, and China got them to not only reverse that shit. Because they took out like a spin move that he had after they had invested all their time and money into this character. Scary stuff. They got him immediately to just change that shit. There's other people who are potentially very angry about characters not being a dark enough color. Uh, but unfortunately, they are in the minority as it pales in comparison to the majority Chinese audience, the same China audience that Disney, you know, we're talking about them, would, would take Chadwick Boseman's face off of a poster to sell better over there, you know? And it's not like a, a personal thing. It's just business. The way Microsoft said that DEI is not business critical which I think people need to kind of just get out of their own ass for a little bit and allow people to appreciate in the way of a victory because optics reflect these things being a bad word in the way of business. It is not us winning a war. It is a mere battle. Again, everybody recognizes this. It's a rebranding. It's an evolution. They're just going to change how they do it. They're going to potentially be more subtle. Hopefully, the, the recognition light switches the flags that you've learned how to read the discern 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 man just see right Ugh. and you know what not to fund i think it's done some of the you know it's so lazy man this vitiligo stuff you're like redoing the character and if they if somebody else were to take something that you had made crazy ugly and make it prettier you fly off the handle too but when you do it it's fine it's a lot of that it's a lot of that. But unfortunately, Genshin Impact's Hoyo does not care about these pussies whining over skin color because caring about pussies is not profitable. But when you prioritize profit, pussy will care about you. The Genshin controversy is resolved. Nouvellet's spin attack has been fixed. Fans, no more Beyblade Nouvellet. How about no money, Hoyo? Spinny, give me back in now or we riot government. Wow. And they won. One group of people get service and other don't. It sounds like the Asians have sussed out which group pays and which group don't, right? I said earlier that I thought Concord would be remembered as an immortal meme of woke gone mad with a little bit of time. You know, Forspoken so forgettable, but Concord, boy, it was like what sushi squad was and i was trying to show everybody but they didn't want to believe it but it finally reached that we out of pride month now but you still got they them lesbian freeze baby and concord again can be summarized in two words unfocused and unfinished i don't think it's worth even talking about because most people who are gonna try that 
are going to realize inside of no time how quickly um, an enough is wrong to have you go pay for this. That's going to be the sentiment about anybody, anybody who's played a shooter and therefore you have standards. You have like a frame of reference unless you've played absolute dog shit. Maybe if you come from Sushi Squad to uh, Concord. You think this is like the greatest game ever, you know what I'm saying? And those are like the only games you've ever played as well. Wow. So, patron sponsors, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm sorry. You know, this is like the edgiest thing in the world. It's like critique. And it's honest, too. That's the crazy part. I wonder what Dia's been doing back there. Let's see what's going on with Splitgate tomorrow. I'm sorry this one was like longer. Because it feels rambly, too. Just end it. Bye. Bye. Big TD beta testers. Bye. Bye, and the drone shot, you know? <laughs> Volume warning. Volume warning. Huh? Or Farina. She's here? Yep. Yeah. That's, that's her. So those other characters we saw coming, those are it. What do you mean? The characters that were in the Genshin thing today, those are the next losers coming, or they haven't been unveiled? I'm done. I don't want nothing to do with those kids. Uh, but there it's four, gold. Like it's gold. That's like bad. Them. That's bad. It was the first pull. <laughs> you got her. Woo! <laughs> now that's gambling, baby! That's what it's like to not play Genshin forever and come on back, baby! Wow, I might start playing every day! Run!